I'm Jason McIntyre, and I've got the one stat about Alabama that you can use to make yourself some money. Here are two college football games I like this weekend. Let's get started with Miami and Florida. I don't love a side here. I think the game could go either way, but I do like the total. I want to go with under 47. I think this will be a classic defensive struggle. Both coaches feeling the other one out. I don't love the Miami offense here, but I really like their defense. Three really strong linebackers, good defensive end. I think they're going to give that Florida offensive line which is going to have some problems. I think they're going to give them fits and contain them. Miami unders 24, 14, and 1 dating back to 2016. I got to go with under 47, Miami versus Florida. Next up, Hawaii. The Rainbow Warriors host Arizona. Folks, this is going to be a high-scoring affair, and I like Hawaii getting 11. The reason is simple. They returned 18 starters from a year ago. This team can move the football, led by quarterback Cole McDonald. He's probably the best quarterback they've had since the legendary Colt Brennan back in the day. I think Hawaii can move the football and stay in this game against Khalil Tate and Arizona. A word of caution about Khalil Tate. He was awesome two years ago, just an electrifying player. Injuries caught up with him last year, really slowed, could not run the football as much as he would have liked. I think Hawaii is going to be able to slow Tate a little bit. I like Hawaii getting 11 points in a high-scoring affair. Looking ahead to week one, I've got two great bets. You should probably lay these now because I think the numbers are going to move. Let's start with Alabama. Of course, the Crimson Tide coming off Nick Saban's worst loss as head coach at Alabama. They got destroyed in the national title game by Clemson. Alabama hosts Duke. Folks, I'm not going to bet on the full game here. I'm going to do what I did with Alabama last year early in the season. Bet on the first half. Alabama's going to come out, probably put up 35 points, and then rest their starters in the second half. Duke will keep playing its starters. So I don't love the full game, but I'm telling you, Alabama favored by 20 in the first half. You know Tua Tagovailoa, the great quarterback who's a Heisman contender, he's going to come out and look to put up points. He got dominated by Clemson last time he took the football field. This is a crazy number. When Tua's playing inferior competition, and I know the Duke defense returns a lot of starters, could be plucky in the ACC. Tua, 37 touchdowns, zero interceptions against inferior competition. I'm going to put Duke in the inferior category. Give me Alabama in the first half, favored by 20 against the Blue Devils. And yes, I'm going with another first half play, kind of obscure. Clemson, favored by 21 in the first half, is hosting Georgia Tech. Now, Georgia Tech is going to be a disaster this year. They are transitioning out of the triple option into who knows what. They don't have the right players to fit in the right positions. It's going to get ugly for Georgia Tech. Clemson, national championship, returning Trevor Lawrence. Here's a fun fact. Trevor Lawrence would have been the number one pick in last year's NFL draft. He's still got two more years in college. And he returns his best receiver, Justin Ross. My gosh, Justin Ross just destroyed Notre Dame and Alabama in the playoff last year. Clemson did lose a lot. Their entire defensive line is gone to the NFL. That's obviously a big loss. All they'll do is plug in five-star recruits. Folks, Clemson is going to maul people all year. They're going to be two, maybe three touchdown favorites in almost every game this season. But I'm going to do what I did last year for Alabama, take them in the first half before they rest their stars. I will gladly take Clemson, favored by 21 in the first half against Georgia Tech. There you have it. College football picks right out of the gate. Folks, I want you to address me on social media. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what you love. Tell me what you hate. Tell me how much money you want. Talk to you next week.